What's going on YouTube? It's Everyday Carry McClary, and today we're going to be reviewing my Osprey Mark II body armor. And it looks just like this here. Wow. So the cool thing about this body armor is it has multiple gadgets, you could say, like multiple gadgets. So you got arm sleeves, you got neck protectors. I don't have the back plates for it. I'm in the process of getting back plates, but quite frankly, I don't wear it enough. I mean, I have it for sometimes, you know, go to practice, range, and you pull that out, pull that out. But I'm not just like every day walking around with that. I'm everyday carry, not everyday carry a vest. <laughs> uh, no, that was a joke. Um, but yeah, today is just going to be my own review on it. As far as like the history and the background, I don't necessarily have all that. But below, I'll leave a link to someone who could explain more about the Osprey Mark II. Someone's familiar with it, do a whole assembly thing as well. But I'm just going to be putting it on for you all just to see how it looks. I vouch for it. So getting into it as promised, this is what we have. Um... I try to find like a whole bunch of, I try to find like some YouTube videos of it like already assembled and I wasn't able to do that. Um, not, not, not really. So this one's actually full assembled with the sleeves and the neck. So within the sleeves and the neck, like you can add like protectors and things in here. So kind of like back plates for the sleeves, just to make sure you're protecting your arms. Um, for the left side as well, but actually, let's see, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take these sleeves off. I wanted to put it on with the sleeves on. Maybe, maybe, okay, we'll try it on, we'll, we're going to try it with sleeves on, and then I'm going to do it with sleeves off. So this thing has been kind of complex and trying to get on, but let's see. whole process right here. It's a whole mess. <sighs> Epic fail. Epic fail. I'm trying to do it so that way we ain't gotta like unscrew everything. Disassemble to reassemble. Um the next are on there we go. Perfect. All right, cool. So this one right on. This one right there. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. Let's see. To wrap this around. Y'all tell me. Does this look right? I look like a half juggernaut right now, don't I? It's okay. Now can let me know what y'all think. As far as the neck part, let me use y'all as YouTube, the things I do for likes, views, and subscribers. So this I don't know where this piece go right now. I'm over here. Why? Oh, here we go. Cool. So there's another sleeve. This top part just clips up here. Hmm. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all, y'all can laugh at me if y'all want. Definitely laugh if y'all want. All right, we're gonna take a brief recess. We're back from recess. Uh, thank you all for bearing with me. Uh, this is the final product. So this is it with sleeves on. I'm actually gonna show y'all how it looks sleeveless. I actually prefer it sleeveless. You know, right now I'm indoor and it's kind of burning up. But yeah, this is the Osprey MK2 body armor um and mine's is without the back plating the back plating is important because it absorbs different bullets so if you're shot it'll get some of that um impact 
that you get depending on what the caliber of bullet it is or what you're being shot by. So I was just like, yeah, I wanted to show you too how we how we going, how we investing it out. It's an investment. <laughs> That's a quick little joke. But yeah, you see, we're ready to go. Y'all remember this. Hey, if y'all have not, go back and check my review on this. I think it was like good. It was like one of my earlier videos. I'm going to have some fun at the range with this. It's that joint, you just come, you just stand like this with it. Stand like this with it. Come creeping with it. A little piece. It ain't too long. The barrel length is not as long as that radical firearm. And y'all seen that video, right? Y'all remember the radical video? Yeah, cool. But definitely check it out. Uh, YouTube, there's no ammo in here. It is clear, and uh, I just wanted to bring it as a, as a prop. So if you're holding it like this, you know, hold it like this. I'm going to go ahead and sit down again. But away from the camera. Safe direction. Throw that red dot and green dot. Flashlight don't need to be on. Whew. Yeah, so it's a, uh, it's not a bad vest. I feel tactical. You know, I don't know if a lot of people say they, they feel tactical. I can you also. And if y'all haven't, this is my uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat. Go watch my my video on that. So this is it. This is what you all came for. So what you came to take a look at, came to see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ain't nothing in there. See you too. That was also a really good review. Um, It does have ammo in it. Although I'm in the house, that is my uh, one of my night carries, I should say. Every night carry, McLaren. It's not going to stick. It ain't going to stick. Uh, it's clear direction so yeah it's like you have AR in one hand and then you always keep something on your waist on that waistband so that way you know you run out of this other than this drop mags reload a new mag go more action that mag goes you're just too quick you just pop 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 that be ready to go at all times so that's normally how it goes but as i mentioned osprey mk2 not a bad vest if y'all don't have any tactical vest i would say get some it just looks cool it's just something to have in your collection um i realize it's not for everybody not everybody wants to go the whole tactical route but like i said we having fun if we if we doing this respectfully hold on let me if we're having fun and we're doing things respectfully and we're taking a liking into this gun world and doing what we like to do, then why not? Why not get vests? Why not get uh, drum mags? And why not go get different accessories to like make your ARP look like something else? Kind of like this, you know, red dot optics, flashlights, foregrip, you know, things of that nature. So it's definitely a way that we can have fun and do it respectfully. On this vest, it was a little bit difficult to assemble. I looked on YouTube to see if anybody had like an assembling video. They did not. This vest did not come with the manual. So because it didn't come with the manual, I was left to go ahead and have to have to figure out what I'm doing. So it came with like different pieces. So that first time before that recess, we had like I had left arm with right and right was like I was a mess. I was a mess, so I had to like step away, reconvene, and now that we came back, we look like this. However, this video is not over though. There's more. Next I have is the best version for you guys, and that's coming up right now.
So the best is a little bit more roomy. You know, you get to show off some of your some of your definitions, some of your tone. You know, some of you guys out here are really bodybuilders, so I know you you try to flex. You don't try to do anything with the sleeves, but that's cool. But I think uh, as as far as it goes, um, the sleeves. You know, if you if you have plates and stuff in the sleeves, it could get a little bit moved. But the goal is to protect the arms. You know, but like I said, if you ripped up, you cut up, you shred it, your arms is fine. You know, it's a lot of meat here, so it won't really hit any muscle tissue. But then again, it depends on what somebody is shooting. Um, I know that I haven't really got much into the vest itself, but I do want to open this pouch for y'all. I'm going to open this pouch to show y'all some of the things I found with. But like on the inside... It's pretty cool. Stand a little bit. Give you all that. So this is where those platings will go. Here. These are where your clips will go. So you can put mags and stuff in. Sometimes people get like the tactical belts for more mags, like bigger mags. But you can have your pistol mags and AR mags going around your waist. Or your waistband. Uh, as far as tactical vests, they're fun. This one is uh, comprised with so much, uh, and I'm not familiar with like the Mark ones. Uh, I'm barely familiar with the Mark II. I just own a Mark II, and then I know they have like Mark Threes. And the highest one I've seen was like a Mark IV. But as far as like the tactical world, those different vests all have like their own symbolic type of design and manufacturing to help support. They're military, so I'm just going to say within war. Definitively, I would just say people within the war. But as the, the goal is to protect yourself and make sure that you stay protected at all times. Um, so, yeah, I do like the, the vest. is pretty cool, especially when you have uh, different guns. And if y'all have not seen the Radical Firearm video, y'all should go watch that. Oh, YouTube, this is clear. Clear, no magazine, clear, all good to go. It's a really cool thing. I know this is about the vest, but it's not a vest without ARs and handguns. So, on that note, thank you all for tuning in. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Like it. If it's positive, have at it. If it's negative, you're entitled to your opinion. It's not the end of the world. I just want feedback. I want to hear from every one of y'all. So on that note, I'll see y'all next video. Mr. McClary out.